A warm welcome to everyone listening to this video. My name is Nathan, and today I am going to provoke some thought regarding a film called Minimalism. And the reason I'm doing this is because when you watch Minimalism, it's easy to get brainwashed into thinking you have to throw out all your possessions in order to have a life of quality, but that's definitely not the case. Now I'm going to first explain why I started watching this video in the first place, some piece of information to keep in mind, almost to be on the side of caution for, and then I'll end the video with a final thought that you'll find interesting. So I began watching this video because a few months ago I read a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And in this book I learned that your physical environment, your cleanliness, and your tidiness can have an effect on your quality of life, on your physical health, on your and on your mental health. Which is why when I saw the Minimalism movie, I said, oh yeah, I gotta watch that. Now, some piece of information to be on the side of caution for is that there's no threshold for classifying someone as a minimalist. And so I'm gonna use a case for shoes and for simplicity, when I the only possession I'm going to refer in this video to is just shoes. Now, am I a minimalist because I have three shoes? Is a minimalist only someone who has one pair of shoes? If I have ten pairs of shoes, am I a minimalist? So there's no concrete answer to say how many possessions classify someone as being a minimalist or not. And the reason that's important is because Shoes don't equal a subpar life. Shoes are constructed materials put together that at the end of the day mean nothing. The only reason that shoes are useful is because we have humans that have assigned value to shoes uh, for a specific function. Now, it's important that, to keep this in mind because you can't blame the struggles of your life simply on shoes. Being happy does have a correlation with your possessions and what you consume, but those are only a part of the overall happy and quality of life equation. You will not wake up the next morning after watching Minimalism, in which you threw everything out, you will not wake up with a life that you value even more. What I do believe is the biggest point from the Minimalism is that buy stuff, but just make sure that they're things that are deliberate and serve a purpose. Buying another pair of shoes because it's winter and you want to be, be warmer and not have frostbite on your feet isn't a bad thing. There's a, there's a specific use for that and it's a need. And even though you're accumulating another possession, I don't think that is necessarily a negative where someone watching minimalism could get, start thinking, almost become brainwashed in that sense. Now, final point to keep in mind, just as a nice interesting point for everybody listening right now is that cost is not everything. There are things that have no cost, that are free, and yet worth a fortune to you. These things have been passed down in your family. If you go to a concert and a band member throws something, you catch it. Or if you go to a baseball game and you, you catch a baseball that's been hit through a home run. In theory, according to minimalism, you can think, okay, I'm accumulating more possessions, but really those possessions can actually benefit your life. So it was the exact opposite way of looking at it as a minimalist. So there you have it, just some interesting points to keep in mind that provoke thought regarding the minimalism. It's definitely a fantastic film that I enjoyed watching, but it's just easy for someone to get brainwashed into thinking that minimalism is the end all and be all, and that minimalism means only one pair of everything or only one type of everything. With that being said, thank you for listening to this video. The comments section down below is a prime spot for discussion and i'll be looking at the comments of this video if anybody posts a comment thank you